Hey guys, Professor Bell, Comic Book University, Batman, issue number 102. It's a shame that I'm not going to be able to see the next part of this for like two months, but future state being what it is, anyway, now that we've gotten that out of the way, uh, let's get to talk about who made the comic book. Also, I'll address more of that later. First, so this is uh, Ghost Stories, part one. James Tenney IV is the writer. Carlos, uh, excuse me, Carlo Pagulayan. On pencils, I'm butchering names, and I apologize. I'm not trying to butcher names. Uh, Danny Mackay on inks, and Carlos de Anda on art for page 13 through 16. Uh, anyway, uh, David Barron on colors, and Clayton Cowles doing the letters. Jimenez and Moray do the cover, and Matina does the variant cover. Uh, Batman was created by Bill Finger. Okay, so Ghost Maker. Brand new character. This is not his first appearance. This is his first time actually in action. This is also, I believe, the first time that we're going to see his face and find out uh, a chunk of his origin. I don't know how much of a chunk of his origin, but whatever. Um, we find out that he actually knew Bruce Wayne back in the day. Bruce Wayne remembers him. And even Batman, poor Batman, this is important, but poor Batman, this new poor Batman, even he teamed up with Oracle doesn't seem like much of a match against this guy. Or at the very least, it seems like Batman doesn't want to actually have that match. He wants to go after this guy together, or by himself. Uh, Oracle wants to do it with him. Eh, we're going to see what happens with that. Unfortunately, I have to wait two months to see with that, because the Future State stuff is interjecting itself in the middle of my freaking comic books. My stories that I'm reading and loving. Um, I really hope that I do like something from Future State. I genuinely do. It's just, even the advertisements they're giving me is just booty. Uh, but it is what it is, and everybody's tastes are different, whatever. So, this is what this book reminds me of. Not just this book, this title, currently, right now, by Tinian, by Tiny Onion. I love that. You remember back in the day when Batman used to have a new villain, like, every issue or every other issue? Eh, probably not. Not too many of us are that old. I'm certainly not that old. But I am old enough to remember when Spider-Man used to have a different villain, like, all the freaking time. And those were the days, man, you never knew. Is this going to be a great villain? Is this going to be a sucky villain? Like, what's going on? You know? This isn't like She-Hulk's villains, for crying out loud. There was actually a chance that these were going to be some seriously super memorable characters. In this particular case... I'm seeing something very similar. You see, because as far as Batman villains are concerned, you know, there's the one that I'm wearing right here. Ha 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 ha. No, seriously. Um, <laughs> why so serious, though? Um, the idea that, you know, who is Batman's perfect nemesis is different from who is Batman's counter. Because the Joker, I don't think, would really qualify as Batman's counter, right? He's not as smart as Batman. He does his, he, and he's certainly not the fighter Batman is, but he beats Batman in many other ways, right? Like his insanity and uh, unpredictability, right? Bane is so much stronger than Batman, but he's not quite as agile as the Bat is. And as smart as he is, Bats just has a little experience over him, you know? Uh, all these different characters, I think that Hush is probably the closest to an actual counter to what Batman is. However, he still falls short, right? Here in Ghostmaker, I feel like we have the perfect rival, like Bullseye to Daredevil. You know, like Venom to freaking Spider-Man. I mean, this is a serious, genuine adversary to the Bats. So seeing this, reading this, it really does give me a sense of nostalgia for those back-in-the-day comic books when you didn't know when a new villain is going to show up. You didn't know when a new ally, when somebody new was going to show up and it was going to change the character, possibly forever. Think about how much Batman changed once Bane was introduced, right? So, you know, but as cool as Professor Pig is, let's be realistic, Professor Pig didn't really change Bats too much, though, did he? Uh, Damien changed bats though and it's so few and far between when we get a character that will do something like that in this particular case we've got ghost maker we've got clown hunter we've got punchline we've got a couple other characters out there getting names at this point uh signal you know what I'm saying we've got a bunch of different characters showing up and all but one of them that i just mentioned was actually james tinian who's doing that 
This is genuinely fantastic to see this. I'm definitely enjoying the hell out of seeing freaking Batman and Ghost Hunter going at it. Uh, Ghost Maker, excuse me. Ghost Maker going at it. Seeing what their individual goals are. And they're so similar to each other, these goals. So that's extra especially cool. Guys, I'm really loving this comic book. And if you are too, by all means, comments below. If you're not, let me know how you're not. Because I'm curious, you know, and don't don't bash anybody on here. Don't bash me. Don't bash each other. You know, saying just everybody's allowed to like or dislike whatever they want to like or dislike. Anyway, guys, uh, like the video, watch an ad, and I'll talk to you guys later. Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.